what's up guys welcome back to across nigeria this is where we do news analysis on politics celebrities and also metro stories so please if this is your first time of uh, watching any of my video there is a red subscribe button down the video below so you go ahead and click on it once and also click on the bell icon so you get notified whenever i bring you breaking news on politics and celebrity actually this news is coming from um punch okay so you can see that on my screen a lot of people believe that um what i publish here the news i publish here is actually fake news but I want to put a disclaimer to that it's not all the news you you will actually find on nigerian dailies okay so there are other news that are being dig deep to find out that may not um be seen on some nigerians dailies there is a breaking news here about um atiku abubaka okay there are some petition here um, details of the petition filed on monday filed on monday by the pdp and its presidential candidate um, in the february 23 election allergic to abubaka remember a lot of people um, stipulate that atiku actually won the just concluded presidential election a lot of people feel um you know they were they, there was online posts everywhere on twitter on facebook and some popular social media so um the apc supporters actually said election is not won by online posts um please i want to put a disclaimer to this post i'm not a support of any political party i do news whether it's about apc or pdp or any other political party okay so a lot of people says um, politics or election is not won by online polls and multiple endorsement okay um i really don't know about how that endorsement work because i believe someone tweeted once which i countered that tweet um the person was tweeting about um, one of these political supporters he tweeted that um his political opponent has been endorsed by so 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 group and i i remember i replied the person i i asked him how does this endorsement work how many politics how many um pvc or voters card um do the person have all right um no matter who endorses you it's all about the masses it's all about we we are the government so no matter who endorse you multiple groups multiple organizations um, that endorse you it's not gonna make you win any vote now let's look at example if um if i have a family of 20 household members and um, it happens that my dad seems to um, support a particular person it doesn't really mean that um, my interest is there i may decide to choose whoever i want to support when politics is concerned okay so um, a lot of people say so election is not win by multiple endorsement and also online polls so that was what happened between um buhari and atiku abubaka um atiku actually win when it comes to online polls all the online polls i saw okay but um tiku actually win um but when the real election comes buari was in match the winner so actually um pdp says no the mandate was for uh for them was for tiku and have challenged the victory of buari in court okay so uh, tiku so far so would have headed to the tribunal and this is the news so far so the PDP challenged the victory of Buhari and his All Progressive Congress um, in March on Tuesday. So the 41-page petition contained five grounds, uh, one of which uh, allegation that 
Buhari was not qualified to run for the office of the presidency on the ground that he did not possess the constitutional minimum qualification of school certificate. Remember, um, Buhari had this issue a long time ago, and um, we remember Wayek actually gave him his certificate. He says his certificate was with the army, um, so that was the only thing we got to hear. The last thing we heard that the certificate was with the army, and um, subsequently, Wayek actually released a certificate that claimed that um, uh, it was an authentic certificate for Mr. President. But a lot of um, human rights activists and a lot of groups, you know, slammed that certificate, claiming that um, the certificate was forged, something like that. So, so far, so good on the tribunal. Um, Atiku has filed a petition on the ground of his qualification, um, the minimum qualification for to run the office of the presidency. So, the petition cited by Punch was filed against the INEC and APC as the first to the third respondent respectively. So, names of the 21 senior advocate of Nigeria and 18 other lawyers appeared on the petition. So they were led by Mr. Levy Uzogu San. So the five ground of the appeal read that the second respondent, that is Buhari, was not duly elected by majority of lawful vote cast at the election. Okay, so Atiku now um, is insinuating that actually there were a lot of irregularities which up to now a lot of people um, still insist that during the presidential election there were a lot of irregularities. I'm saying a lot of people, I am not saying I am insisting, okay? So the election of the second respondent is invalid by reason of non-compliance with the provision of the Electoral Act 2010 as amended. So the second respondent was, at the time of the election, not qualified to contest the said election. So I believe this uh, this petition is going to be tough, really, really tough. I, I, I must say that because from what I'm seeing, the moves, all the moves and all the steps taken by Atiku Abubakar, I believe this judgment I'm not um, politically supporting anybody, but the moves in which Atiku is taking let us just hope and um, have our fingers crossed um, to hear the outcome of it. All right. Okay. So if you have anything to contribute, I just want to bring you this breaking news. So far, the steps Atiku has taken so far against the case um, with the APC and Buaris, challenging Buaris election. All right, guys. Um, if you have anything to contribute, um, you can do that in the comment section um, below. Let us brainstorm together and see the way forward on how we can discuss this issue um, on the comment section below. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.